it's one of the vegetables best value for space. Mm. Like you said, one plant like that, every three days you get a crochet from yeah. it. If you have two, you get double, you know, you can yeah. multiply it. So it's absolutely wonderful. And you want to delay the planting till the very end of May. You may have to pot them on. We, we sow them into those trays now today, but they'll be bigger before. We'll pot them on probably into a pot that size. Yeah. To delay the planting out, really. Again, because they're going to <coughs> they're very the, the nutrients will be spent yeah. in a smaller tray, so we just yeah need to move yeah, and they just need more space. All right, so uh, we're going to sow. Uh, as I said, we have the variety we have today here is Dundu. So two and a half, two to three centimeters depth. Then we're going to put that. Uh, obviously, it needs to be kept warm. So in the greenhouse. Yeah, the greenhouse, or if you have space on your windowsill, a south-facing yeah. windowsill. So you you might if if one stair up. They're very sensitive to frost. It yes. actually kills them okay. in a second. So you cover them with fleece and that gives okay. you extra three degrees frost protection. Okay, uh, Klaus, we've got some courgettes here. Uh, courgettes, we can plant them inside and outside, can't we? But better off really in the greenhouse. Yeah, yeah, you, get, you can plant them much earlier. Can you hear the wind outside? They yeah. absolutely awesome. loathe it. Yeah. So outside, I would only plant them late May, early June okay. at the earliest. Yeah. You know, in, in milder areas you could go late May, mm. but otherwise early June. But you get a much better crop inside anyway, won't you? Much better, and yeah, much yeah. earlier, so... Yeah. They're, they're quite easy to grow, Klaus, aren't they? Very easy to grow. You don't do anything with them, mm. apart from regular harvesting, that's yeah. all. Um, they're, they're nicely rooted now. Here, if you have to stay underneath the cotyledons. The cotyledons are the two seed leaves here. Yeah. So if you plant up to here, you bury the growth point okay. and then they start to rot away. Uh, right, so okay. that's, that's crucial. All right. And again, they're very greedy plants, so we need to feed them. Sprinkle the poultry pellets around. Don't just have them in the planting hole because, yeah. you know, the roots want to spread out over a big area. The crochette plant with the leaves as big, as least, at least way under the leaves, so that means an area in yeah. a circle like that. I loosen the soil around it a bit. And as you said, we're not planting it too deep. Yeah. We're, we're still making sure we can see those two primary leaves. That's right. But the contact with the soil is important. So the root ball is here, yeah? Mm -hmm. And I push the soil from the outside into it. So it wants to be nice and firm. You can't plant them too loose because they'll, they'll just dry out. Dry out yeah. yeah. So Klaus, here's a plant that's come on a little bit more. We can see a little bit of action here with some, some guys popping up here. Um, just shows, I know we have male and, and female flowers. How do we know the difference? Mm. It's, it's quite simple really, but you don't need to know because the male flowers, they just stay male. They don't produce anything and the females are the ones you have your crochets from. Yeah. So see here, that's a female flower. The speed of growth is phenomenal. Mm. So be prepared to eat lots of crochets yeah. when, when they're ready. So uh, we're getting close to courgette time in here, aren't we? Oh, I've been harvesting them for a good while. Yeah, nicely. I always find when my courgettes start producing, the first one or two seem to rot. Is that a that's, common thing? That's always like that. The yeah. first one or two, you can nearly take them off when they're babies. Yeah, so that's nothing to worry about. I think no. a lot of people think they're doing something wrong. There's something yeah. wrong with it. No. And to harvest them, you'd say grip the plant and just turn it around. It actually comes off quite nicely. Yeah, quite nice and neat. Do we need to feed them while they're producing? No, not this distance. Th these ones look extremely healthy. Healthy. If the plant would struggle a little bit, yeah. then I would feed Maybe. a little bit. Yeah. But that's very vigorous, you can see that. They will get uh, mildew later in the year, the white fungal growth. That's going to happen anyway. That looks, many people think that's mildew. Yeah. It's not mildew. That's the pattern of the crochet. Okay, it's supposed to be like yeah. that. But the mildew looks similar, but it comes more net, like a net across it. Mm. And there's nothing you can do about yeah, you're it. You're going to get it anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very important that you remove the flowers that have fallen down. Okay. Because if they touch or lie on a stem, they'll rot, rot the through. whole plant. Yeah. yeah. So, Klaus, this has been producing really from kind of beginning, middle of June. Yeah. Of June. And I hope to have them until at least the end of September. So, wonderful crop, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 